What up, what up, what up, Zachary make money mowing. Sorry for the delay, I just spent the last few days in Colorado. I will attach some clips right here. No job seemed perfect and to this day no job still seems perfect but it wasn't until i just put all of my effort and energy into my mowing business into my lawn care business that i said you know what i don't know where it's going to take me i don't know how much money i'll make i don't know if i'll be able to last against my competition but i'm not going to think about any of that i'm just going to try to grow my business as organically and as healthily as possible and let's see where it goes and fast forward to here and i'm able to do what i always wanted which was have a job where i could control my hours and be able to go do cold nature stuff like this jobs that we pick or the career that we choose or the type of work that we end up doing. I truly feel like as long as what you do allows you to do the things that you want to do, it doesn't matter if you have your own business, if you work for somebody, if you do lawns or landscaping versus tree trimming. When I was younger, I thought I was going to be a pro skateboarder or a astronaut or something, but I have a lawn care business and that's something I never would have thought, but I have it and it makes me happy. It allows me to do these things that I am. I just wanted to go for a quick little five day trip. I felt like I had been working myself very hard lately, so I wanted to reward myself very hard. And that's what I did, and it felt good. I got to do a bunch of Colorado related activities, explore mountains and rivers and sand dunes. And now I'm back in my city ready to kill it. And I hope you guys are ready to kill it with me. This is just gonna be a little quick update video as I situate myself and get back to my mowing routine. First and foremost, we just hit 5,000 subscribers. I think we're almost at 6,000 subscribers, honestly. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all the love and support. I cannot reply to every YouTube comment, but I do read every single thing. Um, so thank you guys so much. For everybody who's emailed me, messaged me, commented, uh, Facebooked me, some people are even directly calling my phone. I have no idea how, but I'm going down the list. I just have so many that it's taken me a long time, but I will reply to each and every single one as soon as I can. Thank you for the support. Sorry for the delay. And I will get back to you guys all in a matter of time. So I did something this morning that I've been meaning to do for a very long time and after completing it I realized I should have done it a long time ago because it feels really good but I guess that's life you live and you learn. But the thing I'm talking about is releasing my yards so I could put more energy and effort and time into my online channel and my courses and my YouTube. So you might have might not have seen my posts where I was saying that I'm selling some of my residential accounts. They're all awesomely priced. They're all tight routes and if you live in San Antonio shoot me a message let's talk. And I talked to a handful of people. Um, I wasn't asking for a lot of money. I think for most people, I was asking just a two month evaluation, which is say a yard's 50 bucks, that's a hundred bucks a month, 200 to buy that account and you can make the rest of the thousands and 10,000s over the course of the next years. And either the people couldn't afford it or they weren't ready for it, or um, it just didn't work out. It was my first time trying to sell yards. So I was trying to learn it myself. and. It's okay. Truthfully, I really didn't even care about the money anymore at this point. When I woke up this morning, I just wanted to release the yards so I could put more energy and effort towards this channel because I want to post a lot more content. I have so much that I could say, but there's just only so many hours in a day. So this morning I went down the line and I released, I think eight customers just in the course of like 20 minutes. And I didn't even tell these long companies that I sent you these leads, but I did. So I guess this is the message right here. So Nick, I sent you two free leads of my actual customers that I've been mowing. I just just told them that I'm scaling down and I can refer you to a fellow lawn service who does great work and can match the price that I'm at. So Nick, I gave you two free yards. Johnny with Johnny's Lawn Care, I gave you two yards. Agabon, I gave you two yards and I might or might not keep letting go of, of some yards, but I just wanted to let go of this big chunk. I only have 50 yards, so eight is a good chunk of my business. It's almost a fifth and that's maybe around, I don't know, maybe like close to a thousand dollars. I just took a thousand dollar loss in my monthly income but i'm gaining which is worth way more than money the energy the effort the peace of mind and the focus to put towards this channel so sometimes you must take a step backward to go two steps forward and i basically just took a thousand dollar step backward almost which is very difficult because a thousand dollars is nice to have but 
for what I envision I could gain from that trade-off, it's worth more than $1,000. So lesson here is you must let go in order to grow and you can't do everything at once. And if you really wanna do something properly, then you must allocate a majority of your time, energy, and resources into that. Right now, I've been mowing for five years, part-time, two years, full-time, three years, and I've been hustling my butt off. So I feel like I'm in a position where I could scale it down just a little bit and put a lot more effort towards this channel since this channel is almost brand new. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys are able to land those leads. I put the best word I could out and thank you guys again. So one more thing I wanna to add to the video is my main goal will always be to help people start and grow lawn care businesses. But I also really wanna help people just vibrate on a higher frequency in general because the older that we get, I think we realize that this world is a very dark place with a lot of negative energy and you have to be very selective with the way you maneuver through society. So take it from me as a small YouTuber who's growing his channel. No matter what you do, no matter what job, business, industry, career you pick, there's going to be haters with negativity coming at you sideways that are trying to bring you down to their level. And in reality, these people are broken and they're lashing out on you, on me, in order to make themselves feel better. But really, they're just digging themselves into a deeper hole and they don't realize it. Out of all the help, all the inspiration, all the information, information that I give out in my videos, people still find a way to hate on me. And I wasn't used to it. As somebody who was just having a small, quiet, long care business, keeping it low-key, I'm an introvert, I was doing things very under the radar. I was making great money, I was making great, a great living. I decided to make a YouTube channel on top of that, go figure. And initially I was getting lots of positive comments, but then I started getting crazy, weird, negativity, haters, people bashing me, telling me I'm dumb or I don't know what I'm doing. And it made me question for a little bit, is this worth all the energy that I'm coming in by having this channel? And it would cause me to slow down on videos, which is unfortunate to say, but it's true. I'm an open book. I can tell it like it is. I wasn't used to it. I didn't. I never wanted to be famous. I never wanted to have millions of people watching my videos. I just wanted to help somebody. And that's why I started my channel. So I wasn't expecting all of this negative feedback or the positive feedback. I just threw my videos out and I was just fishing to see what would happen. And there's constructive criticism. People will tell you that you could be doing something better and that's awesome and you should thank them for that. But a lot of it is just people just trying to bring you down to their level who just disregard all the help, all the inspiration, and they just try to bring you down. And the only way to maneuver through the haters taken from me is you just must realize that if you have a vision, you must go for it with full force and realize that the road is gonna be bumpy and it's gonna be curvy and there's gonna be hiccups and there's gonna be times you second guess yourself and that's normal. And the only difference between the people down here and the people up here is they power through it, they develop tough skin, and they just said, I don't care what anybody thinks, I'm just gonna keep following my dream, my goal, and then I'm gonna realize that there's gonna be people who support me and people who don't support me, and that's all that matters. So keep it going forward. They say keep your enemies close and your friends closer. My dad put holes for fishing poles and I, he never fixed them. But yeah, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So maybe one day I'll take my haters out for coffee or breakfast. And if they still want to hate, then we can put on the gloves and see what it's really about to function. But I don't think that will happen. I think you can disassemble anything with words. So I don't like fighting. I'm a lover, not a fighter. My message, keep powering through it. Just realize that if you have one dollar or one follower or a million dollars or a million followers, you're still gonna go through the same negativities and weird vibes versus if you're starting out versus if you're at the top. You just realize that everyone's going through the same thing and we're all in this crazy journey of life together. And as long as we keep the same energy, we keep growing, then the ceilings are endless for us or there are no ceilings, I mean. We can do whatever we put our mind to. I'm gonna try to grow this YouTube channel. What are you about? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your dreams and goals. Let's talk this shit into existence. I just cussed up like I still monetize this video. Until then, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.